My name is Simone Bourbon and I'm an English teacher at Institute Montana and I'm also English as an additional language coordinator. My role at Institute Montana is very interesting. So when students apply to join our school, um, they have to complete a writing placement test and I assess that alongside other report cards to see where they should be best placed in an English class or in other language classes. And then I make recommendations for support or recommendations to boarding and um, I liaise with admissions department to ensure that the student has a good um, arrival at Institute Montana. So the language programme, all lessons in the international school are taught in English um, from grade 7 all the way through to grade 12. But all students, uh, we encourage students to keep studying their mother tongue. Some we have fixed classes or we may need to arrange private lessons. Um, they also, all students learn English and another additional language once their English level has become proficient enough for them to learn an additional language. So all instructions in English. This international environment just really helps the students in the fact they have to speak English every day. Um, they may not have a friend or uh, someone in their class who speaks the same language, so they have to communicate in English. They have to communicate in English in boarding if they're a boarding student, also with students and with teachers. I tell my friends it's the best place to work in the world, actually location-wise, because it's on the top of the mountain overlooking a beautiful lake. Uh, we're surrounded by green fields and cows, um, and it's very quiet. It's above the hustle and bustle of the town. It's a, it's a very, very special location. Students have to walk between buildings, but that they get to enjoy. And from just two steps outside the building, you're in beautiful, beautiful nature and countryside. Students grow academically, but not only academically. They have to grow spiritually a little bit by doing um, CAS or service projects. They also learn to get on with other students from all over the world. And so they grow to be more tolerant. And I think they also grow just in themselves as people. Just they come to accept themselves and others more readily. And so they grow to be, I hope, open-minded citizens and good students with a very strong future ahead of them.